Hey everyone, my name is Andy. I'm one of the fitness instructors at CFB Edmonton. And today's video is just gonna bring you through a full body stretch that you can do after you have cooled down from a real solid workout. So what we're gonna do for today, um, basically we're gonna work top down here. And if you need a mat, feel free to grab one. Otherwise you really don't need any equipment. So just starting standing up nice and tall here. We're gonna bring one ear down towards the shoulder. As you're doing this, just allow the shoulders to relax away from you. This might be enough to bring it through a nice stretch in the side of the neck. If not, we can reach for that left hand, pulling it down and away behind the back, just to extend a little bit more. Holding that just for a few more seconds. And go ahead and switch sides. Come on back up through the center and same thing here. Just an easy lean over here down towards the shoulder. And if you're needing just that little bit more openness, this time we're grabbing for the right hand to pull it away from the ear. Whole time thinking about keeping that chest kind of open, uh, proud if you will, drawing the shoulder blades back and together. Center. We'll draw an arm in across the chest. You want to squeeze it in towards you, either above or below that elbow, just so we're not squishing directly on that joint. Once again, shoulders down away from the ears, finding that nice tall spine, drawing up through the top of the head. Ideally, with this one, you want to feel it into and around this right shoulder, maybe into the upper back a little bit. And go ahead and shift back behind. We're going to reach that hand down behind the head, gentle pressure on the elbow, stretching into your tricep a little bit more. As we're doing this one, just being mindful that we're not pressing the head forward here, keeping that spine up nice and tall, letting the natural curves of the spine rest as they are. down. Same thing, second arm. We'll draw it in across the chest, squeeze it in towards you, shoulders down away from the ears. Keeping that length in the spine. <clears throat> and again, feeling this one through the shoulder, <clears throat> maybe into the upper back a little bit. shift, bring that hand behind the head into our tricep stretch, gentle press with that opposite arm on the elbow. Allowing that head to reach up nice and tall. And knowing that we're going for some stretching sensation, but this shouldn't feel Shouldn't feel painful, we're going to pain free, pain free range of motion, pardon me. Go ahead and relax that down. Next up, you can go ahead and drop it down into a lunge. You're gonna step forward with one foot here. Drop the tailbone down towards the mat. And think about pressing your hips kind of forward and down. Keeping that tailbone drop the whole time. You wanna feel this in the front of the left hip, getting into our hip flexor. If you don't, let's bring that left arm or back arm up towards the sky and over just slightly. That should help to extend just a little bit more. Other hand can really rest wherever is comfortable. I like to keep it behind my back as a reminder to keep pressing the hips forward and to keep that tailbone dropped. And just going until you feel that little bit of a stretch, but no pain. Awesome, you get to relax that down. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides here. Other foot comes forward into your lunge. Setting up nice and tall, shoulders stacking over the hips and dropping that tailbone down as we start to press the hips forward. A 
If you need that little bit more, again, this time do the right arm reaching up and slightly over. Add that reminder hand behind the low back or leave it on the thigh, however it is comfortable. Just making sure you are breathing here. If we hold the breath, it's really not helping us out in our stretches. relax that on down. We're going to find our way to a seat. You can bring one foot in towards the upper inner thigh and we're just going to bring it into the hamstring and or calf a little bit more now. So belly button can turn towards your big toe down that straight leg. And think about keeping your toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Sometimes they like to roll in here. So we're going to keep them up high. Find your tall spine first. If you have a belt or a strap or a towel, something to hook around your foot, that's a really nice way to keep that neutral spine as we're working into this stretch, finding some sensation through the back of the leg. Leaning forward however far you need to get a little bit of a stretch here. You're gonna breathe into this one for the next few moments, a few more seconds. Maybe letting that leg relax a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. Our right foot comes in toward the upper inner left thigh. Good to kick that out to the side. Get up nice and tall out of the waist again, turning that belly button to face towards your big toe, keeping that tall spine as we start to draw the chest forward and down. You know what, still drawing up kind of out of the top of the head, keeping yourself tall as you move forward into this stretch, into this sensation through the back of the leg. You might find flexing those toes back towards you adds a little bit more intensity or brings the stretch even more into your calf. So adjust this one however you need. Maybe allowing the leg to relax a little bit more. We'll hang out here for another 10 seconds or so. Excuse me. Awesome. You're good to relax out of that. Find your way onto your back and we're going to bring it into a figure four stretch. You can use a wall for this one or just go without. I'll show you both and then settle into whichever you prefer. So without the wall, pretty familiar. Ankle crosses over the opposite knee, opening it up away from you. You can draw the legs in towards you if you need a little bit more of a stretch. And the nice thing with the wall is if you don't feel like holding your legs there, the wall can hold them for you. We need to come in a little bit closer. Bring your feet up the wall, lift the hips as needed, and then just allow your hips to sink back down towards the ground, towards the mat. Should feel this opening up in and around that right glute around the hip there. If you're holding on to that leg, try and relax your shoulders back onto the mat. Just the gravity of doing that, letting the arms be a little bit heavier is gonna help bring you into a deeper stretch. And if you're still needing more, still not really feeling it, play around with the angle here. Legs may come a little bit more towards one side or the other. Maybe we add gentle, gentle keyword pressure away on the knee. It's the same thing, other side, either keeping feet on the ground and then maybe we bring that, the legs towards us, grabbing on for the hamstring, or you can go ahead and set up with a foot on the wall, just allowing hips to sink back towards the ground. Switching over to the left glute. Very classic, classic stretch. A lot of people know this one, but I really love the wall variation, so you can relax into it a little bit more. You just finished a workout, you already did your hard work anyways. 
Maybe we'll chill for a bit. Pardon my cat. About 10 more seconds here. quads now and take it onto your side. Excuse me, please. We're going to bring that top heel in towards us, heel towards the glutes, and then drop that knee so it stays in line with the hip. You can give that a little bit of a squeeze towards you, something to get some sensation through the front of the leg. Um, if you're not really feeling it here, you can start to kick into your hand slightly, just that little bit of activation. Um, Almost like you're going to press your hip forward a little bit. Helps to open up a little bit more through the quad. If you're adding that little kick, just keeping in mind it's not like a full intensity as hard as you can. It's a little bit of activation. Like you wanted to push something with your foot across the floor, like sliding a small box. That made sense in my head. I hope it did all that. Fantastic, you're good to relax that side down. Go ahead and switch legs. Same thing on your second side. Finding your side leg. Grabbing for that top ankle. Heel draws in towards the glutes. And we're just gonna hang out here. Soak in that quad stretch a little bit. Option to add the gentle kick into your hand, opening up the front of the leg a little more. didn't mention it on the other side. If you really don't feel like holding that leg, nice thing that you can always do is roll back gently, slowly, so that the ground catches your foot for you, and you don't have to hold on to it. to slowly release that one. We'll find our way back up to a seat and just into a little bit of a straddle so we can get into our adductors. A couple options for you today. Um, I'll let you pick whatever is really feeling best for you. You can either go feet and knees out. You can come into a, um, a little bit more of an extended version of that feet plant, allowing the knees to fall out to the side and then we'll add a bit of a lean forward or straight classic straddle. Whatever you prefer, just not letting the knees and toes roll forward. So those are going to stay up nice and tall. Lean forward as much or as little as you need to get a little bit more of a stretch into your adductors. Any of these will do. Lots of really good options. We're going to get some different areas in and around the hips so you can focus on whatever is tightest. I'm just going to spend another 15-ish seconds hanging out there. to a little bit of a cobra. This might be a really big lift, it might be not. So just listen to when your back and your body is like, please, please stop. This feels like a stretch already, we're good. Right? As soon as you feel that little bit of stretch sensation, hang out there. Um, if you know your back doesn't love these, um, of course, if it hurts, don't do it. Um, but otherwise, you can bring the hands a little bit farther away from you that when you press up there's less pressure on the back. Also keeping your legs a bit farther apart can assist with that. If it feels okay, hands can start to walk in a little bit, but find somewhere that you can allow your hips to just kind of hang out. 
but your shoulders are also coming down away from the ears. We're not getting stuck up in this uncomfortable position here. Just finding a couple of really good deep breaths. Creating a little bit of space through the front of the body. back into a child's pose. We're actually going to stretch out a bit more through the side of the body, a little bit into your lats here. So hips come back towards the heels. Start by reaching your arms straight out forward. And then from here, we're going to walk those arms over towards one side of the mat. Anchor down one hand with the other, and then we're going to sink the hips back and away. You can kind of feel yourself move into a little bit more of a stretch. You can make this one as intense as you would like or as not intense as you would like. So just however should feel this through the side of the body, which everyone is really extended here. And of course, we'll even out. So you can go ahead and walk those hands over to the other side of your mat. We're going to stack them palm over palm, send those hips back and away. We're leaning into this one to make the most of this stretch. This is one you don't necessarily have to do in a child's pose. You can also um, use like a bench or a countertop to plant the hands on, send the hips back and away. A few different options that will work. top to bottom. We're going to come back to just one last thing here. You can release back through the center, find your way onto your stomach once more, and we're going to go into more of a chest stretch. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more chest specific as opposed to shoulder, although both will probably feel something. For easier demos here, I'll start on my left side, but of course we'll do both, so it doesn't really matter which one you start with. For this, we're opening the arm up to the side, starting with it in line with your shoulder. Finding a 90 degree elbow bend. And if that elbow starts to sneak down, bring it back up in line with the shoulder. Opposite hand can plant down, opposite foot kind of reaches a little bit here, just so you can feel that stretch through your chest on the left side. You might roll a little, you might roll a lot. Again, moving in that pain free range of motion. back through center, exact same thing on the other side. So arm extends in line with the shoulder, finding a 90 degree bend at the elbow, and then the opposite hand can plant opposite foot, starts to reach up and back. Settling into a little bit of a stretch through the chest. Like I said, also shoulder, but as opposed to doing the stretch with our arms straight, this one brings it a little bit more into the chest specifically, and less just into that shoulder joint. Good to relax on out of that one. Um, we've gotten into our calves a little bit here, but I'll give you one more just to take it or leave it if you would like. We're gonna bring that back up, use our wall one more time. 
Tipping into a little bit more of a lunge stance. Joy's training at home with a white cat, black clothes. Step one foot forward, one foot back, and just make sure both toes are pointing towards the wall. You can find a little bit of a lunge forward, keeping that back heel planted. We're aiming to feel this through the back of that calf. Doing lots of running, lots of rucks recently. Might need this one a little bit, so take your time with it. Going into that lunge just as far as you can feel that stretch sensation, keeping that heel down towards the ground. And of course, as always, we will switch sides. So you're good to go ahead and bring it into that opposite lunge stance. Bending that little bit of a bend forward and down, back heel still pressing in towards the ground. And just check in one more time, peek down, make sure both toes are pointed directly at the wall so that we can get the bulk of that calf muscle here. Won't be quite as effective if that back toe is turned way in or way out. Last few seconds hanging out here. All right, so there you have it. Nice full body stretch that's easy to do right after a workout. This one is pretty thorough, so um, hopefully we covered everything. If there's anything that you would still like a stretch for, you have questions about, definitely let us know. Um, thanks for tuning in.